What's up guys, it's your boy HVAC Cool J. Today we're actually at an ice machine call. I was here yesterday and the complaint was that the ice machine isn't producing as much ice as it used to. So got upstairs on top of this unit and uh, popped the top on it, checked it out. You know, it's dropping ice. Then I took a deeper look into it. And this is what I found. So, as we all know, Hoshisakis are notorious, notorious for uh, low production if the unit's not cleaned properly. And I'm just gonna throw this in the wash mode so you can see. So for this portion of the video, I'm going to be doing a voiceover due to the amount of noise that's in the background here. So right here, what I'm trying to show you is that the water is dripping up and over to the water distributor. And in order for the unit to make ice properly it has to be flowing evenly through that channel or you know each individual channel so we need to clean this machine and get it right Alright guys, so I'm already starting to clean that one, like I said before. Now look at, look at this. There's no possible way that that thing is going to um, distribute water evenly across the coil. Wow. everywhere so we got to get this cleaned up this one is so this one is so caked up I can't even I can barely move it there we go All right, I'm gonna have to pry this one out, so I'll get to you guys when I'm done. All right guys, so after I took them out, I just dumped them in the bucket of nickel safe and water mixture. And you can actually see that nickel safe just working, you know? After this, the only thing you have to do is just rinse it out. Um, bring it a little closer. Yeah, look at that. Here, I'll flip them around so you can look at that already. See, okay, going in. Look how it works, like magic. <laughs> oh, I love this stuff. I mean, I just touched it and look at that. So yeah. So, yeah. All right, so after I let that run through the cycle through the machine a couple of times, the scales are literally like, uh, you know, like clay, they're not hard. All you have to do is get a, get a little bristle, bristled brush or something that can get in between these, these, these uh, ribs, you know what I mean? Or the scrub. One that won't damage the equipment. See, now look at that. Alright, now look at the difference. See that? See those three? Watch this. I'm gonna do the two of them. 
just so you can compare. Hey, look at that. Look at the difference. I already did this side. Then when I'm done, look at that compared to all these now. You should have seen it before. <laughs> well, I mean, you did see it before. But anyway, so I'm gonna go through all of these grids like that, and um, after that, I'll I'll come back with you, uh, hit you guys up, and let you know what's going on. All right, guys. So here is the final product. Look at those distribution tubes. Look how clear everything looks. It literally looks brand new, man. So hey this thing works. So right now I'm gonna walk over here and show you the nickel safe working its magic on that coil, man. This one was the worst one. The scales were extremely hard on this one, so I let this one sit and run for about an hour just to soften it up and get it, you know, to where I can clean it. 